hip hop rapper. I call it hip hop, but it's hip hop. You understand? It's Liberia hip hop because co represent Koloqua, our street language, and hip hop represent hip. So it's called hip hop. And I'm a hip hop rapper representing so fresh a group of two. And then I represent Liberia and I represent West Africa. How did the hip hop music movement begin in Liberia? Um, the hip hop movement started right after the 2003 war. You understand? Yeah, it started right after the 2003 war, and it was invented by the late DJ Summertime. You know, like I said, hip hop is the mixture of hip hop and Liberian street talk. So he invented the name hip hop, and it all started right after the war 2003, and it started to get more better. Um, 2000, 2007 when we just entered the game. Yeah. Would you say that it is easier or harder for rappers from Liberia to making a living from their craft now compared to 10 years ago? Um, I think it's getting better now when we started 10 years ago, like you're saying right now, because I'm 10 years in the business right now. So when we started 10 years ago, it was all about just um, fun that I may pull it, you understand? We just do it for fun, but now we getting, we not getting more, but at least we can put food on our table from the game right now. But I think it's gonna get more better, yeah, especially with the type of platform we getting on right now. Like right now, I'm live on Flash Africa, trust me, I'm live people around the world going to see this video. So I think it's going to get more better. Yeah. What's the story behind the formation of Soul Fresh? Uh, Soul Fresh started as a dancer, especially me. Uh, we sta I started as a dancer and uh, this period of, of rap came, especially when I was in the 12th grade. And uh, I started writing my own rhyme and at that time it was when hip hop started also so i would used to, i used to listen to the less of noisy uh mighty blow and i got motivated to break my own ground and then at that time on a competition i met my boy shiny man you understand and we started practicing together but it it was not like how it is right now. You see people just go to the studio. You know, at that time when it started, there was only, I think, three studios in the country. So you need to have somebody who will recommend you to go to the studio. It was really difficult for us, but we kept on practicing until we uh, got the opportunity to meet the late summertime. Uh, the founder of whatever records he introduced us to the key and we did our first song called Monrovia Scatta. It was 2007 and from there up to present we keep moving as a team so fresh. Yeah. Okay, great. I like the way you answer your question. Many music group groups barely survive for that long. What has kept so fresh united? Um, you know, we look at music to be our common denominator, you know, you know what I'm saying? Because, I mean, as a group in Liberia, when we started, we had few groups at the time, but nowadays you're not seeing them around because most time there are few things that separate group. you understand? Especially uh, money and chamo, you know, in our hip hop way now, and, and you know, girls. You know, a few other things, but what what keeps so fresh to where we are today is, I think the music. We may have our own different, you know, activities, our differences and stuff like that. But when it comes to the music, we know we got a job to do. So, and it's just that common understanding that oh, we have a responsibility. We have people that are looking up to us. You understand? So it keep us going, it keep us strong. Yeah. What should we expect? Okay, okay, you are the only one that came here, so let let me put everything together. Okay. How or how do you, with 
Yes. Well, uh, we do rap music, you understand? And besides, we we take a long time to practice. Sometimes he maybe I got the inspiration and I call him and say, Oh, we need to talk about this. You understand? Maybe we need to talk about love, we need to talk about issue affecting the society. You know, I just come up, maybe he will come up with a topic, or maybe me, I come up with a topic, and then we brainstorm it. Maybe he can come with the melody, the type of radio we want to put it on, and then we can go to the studio, and then we see how best to put it together. And, you know, after the other, after the other, it can turn to be a real song. So that, so at this point, that's how come, yeah. Take it again. Oh, no, you said everything already, so I just. And, and come up with you know, good lyrics and a good song. Okay. Right. And with the music industry in Liberia today. Uh, <laughs> yes, there are a lot of problems, you understand? But I think um, one major problem, I think, is the government. Okay, let's, let's, let's take it. One major problem. One major problem in the Liberian music industry, I think, is the government. The government has not yet recognized entertainment to be a source of income for a lot of young people out there. Not only source of income, but source of tourists also. So I think until the government can recognize, I'm not just saying in a month, you understand, they can come up with legislation, you know, rules, you understand, to recognize musicians, to protect not only musicians, but um, entertainers mm -hmm. to protect their their craft, you understand, their intellectual property. From there, you know, we can be able to put food on our table. We can be able to give back to the society. And from there, we can build a very unique industry like the rest of the country around us, like Nigeria and Ghana and the other African nation. Yeah. So one is the government and the next I think is um we the artists, you understand? I think it's a revolution we into. So we need to be more focused because we need to get on the government back also to make sure that they respond to our cause. Yeah. Okay. What does the industry move past to make you know sorry problem to make the market profitable for uh, i think we're getting there you know what i'm saying for the government to recognize entertainers we gotta be serious for me being on this platform right now it show how much i'm serious how much i want this to happen so I mean, it's not about so fresh, it's about all the artists, all entertainers need to come together, need to double up their craft, need to be more creative. So, I mean, people outside there, investors can look into, you know, this and see how best to come in. Because I think music is business and then everybody, every investor, even the government, Nobody want to put their money into something that is not, you know, entertaining or is not serious. So if we as artists, you know, take this as a professional business, I think the government is going to come in. And the evidence is getting clear. Now you see that there are a lot of artists trying to be more focused, more serious. And not only the artists, the producer, nowadays the music is very, you know, sweet. You understand? I mean, good beat, and not only the producer, but everybody trying to put in work. So, at the end of the day, trust me, like I always say, Liberian music, Liberian entertainment is on a time bomb. You understand? We can blast anytime because everybody put it in work. So, it's no doubt that anytime the industry can boom. Yeah. Great, 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 great. The greatest challenge. The Shield Music as a group? Uh, my greatest challenge is about the Moko, meaning the no, money. No, no use, we'll take group, our greatest challenge has been the money, you understand? Like, 
the Mugu. I want to say to people because it's about the people that follow our music. And I think it, it is our responsibility to make the fans outside there to know that we need money to survive. Yes, I can go in the studio to produce song from my own pocket, from my own account. But how long will I keep doing that? We need to create that platform where in the fans, people who listen to our music can give back to us. That will help us to go back in the studio and come up with more good records and more quality video. So I think that is missing right now. Most time you do the song, you put the song online for free download. You understand? But I think we as artists need to create an atmosphere where in the fans can find a way to donate to our project. We don't need to die first before you know we come up with go farming or you know. We need to just create a way in which fans can support us. And I think we, so fresh gonna be the first because it's part of our project coming um few months from now where we're gonna be creating us a way in which the fans can support our project. Yeah. It's really expensive. And then if you don't have means of you know getting money to support your art um probably your career would die along the way because nowadays to do a video to do audio is very expensive now two things involved if you just sit back and make yourself feel comfortable the fan will feel like oh it's well yeah oh jb get money you can do it <laughs> but if you as an artist will open up to the fan and tell you say oh my man i won't lie to you y'all gotta support me y'all gotta put money in the cover you understand create an atmosphere where in they will go and donate Maybe you can even put your open an account. You understand? Open an account where fans are around the world can donate to the project. Trust me, it's gonna work. The musical project has so fresh launched or released. Uh a lot. Like like I was saying, so fresh this this year making up, up to eleven years in the business. And you know, beside just in the studio, we more outside than in the studio because we we do more event as compared to any other artist in the country because we believe that um, people listen to the music is one thing, but event bring them together to support you and to interact with you. Like presently, we're working on a a project called Community Connection, where every month to our various community in and out of the, the country. So every month we have to you know, interact with our fans. And then at the end of the day, we raise funds and we use these funds to you know, go back to the studio. So what should we expect from So Fresh in the coming year? With your support, you understand? Especially the fans out there. If you support me, you will expect the best. And I can guarantee you, like you always been there with us. This is the reason So Fresh is so fresh right now. So trust me, so long you always there and you always gonna be there. Trust me, So Fresh gonna, So Fresh will always be fresh. Yeah, mm -hmm. trust me, So Fresh. I like that. Okay, I just wanna use this platform to no, no, announce. No, no, no use. Outside there. So Fresh is working on an album called Unfinished Business, meaning turning one million fans to one million dollars. So Unfinished Business is going to be dropping this year, anytime this year. So watch out for Unfinished Business. Capital J representing So Fresh. Shout out my boy Shiny Man. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, now let's do. It. This is this has been my session on. Sorry. <laughs> This has been my session on Mystery on Lock on Flash Africa. Listen, you can follow So Fresh on Facebook. Just say So Fresh, S O U L F R E S H. On Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. You can follow me, JB So Fresh. JB and So Fresh. On Facebook, Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter. Thank <laughs> you.